Thursday, 7 November 2019. Mathematics Paper 2, Calculator, Foundation Theory. Answer all questions. You must show all your working. The total mark for this paper is 80. Question number one. Write these numbers in order of size. Start with the smallest. So the smallest number is minus seven. The next smallest is minus four. After that, minus two, and then one, and then eight. Question number two. Write the number 8,375, correct to the nearest thousand. To the nearest thousand, you put a line between eight and three, and you look at the number on the right-hand side of that line, three. Three is smaller than five, so you round that down to zero, and all the other numbers would be zero. So 8,373 is nearer to 8,000. You can think of it this way. If you have 8,373, 75, you have 8,000 there, and you have 9,000. So it is nearer to 8,000 than to 9,000. Write 0 0.23 as a percentage. To change a number to a percentage, you multiply by 100. And to multiply by 100, you move the decimal place two places to the right, one, two. So that would be 23%. Question number four. Find the value of square root of 17.64. That would give you 4.2, which is the same as 21 divided by five. You put that in your calculator, you get 4.2. Question number five, find the value of six to the power five. Six to the power five is the same as six times six times six times six times six. And that'll give you 7,776. In your calculator, you will use the button X with that and then you will put five at the top. So X would be six. And then in that button, you put five and that should give you the answer. Question number six. There are 14 rows of seats in a cinema. There are 15 seats in each row. A film was shown in the cinema on Saturday. Each ticket for the film cost six pound 50. The tickets that were sold cost a total of 1,274 pounds. How many tickets were sold? So we want to find the total number of seats in the cinema. So we want to multiply the number of rows times the number of seats. Multiply the number of rows times the number of seats. It gives you the total number of seats in the cinema. So 14 times 15, it gives us 210 seats in the cinema. Now we want to find the total amount or cost if the cinema is full. So we multiply the total number of seats, which we get from 14 times 15, times six pound 50 for each seat. So that would give us 1,365 pounds for the total cost if the cinema is full. Now, because the tickets were sold cost 1,274, we work out the difference. 1,365 minus 1,274, it gives you 91. The difference is 91 pounds. So 91 pounds, how many tickets is that? Each ticket is six pound 50. So 91 divided by six pound 50, it gives you 14. So that means 14 tickets were not sold. Question number seven, Harry has 20 suites. He gives seven of the suites to Nadia. What fraction of the 20 suites does Harry now have now? So if he gives seven suites away, so 20 take away seven is 13. So to find the fraction, we use the idea that a fraction is a part divided by a whole. 
So what part is left is 13 is left and the whole was 20 in the beginning. So it's 13 over 20. Question number eight. Here is a number machine. Input times eight minus five and you get output. Work out the output when the input is six. So you do six times eight and then take the answer, you minus five. So six times eight minus five, you get 43. So the answer is 43. Here is a different number machine. Input plus 13, and then you get space, and then the output is 10. So the input is 17, the output is 10. So 17 plus 13, it gives you 30. And how do you get from 30 to 10? To get from 30 to 10, you can either divide by three to get 10, or you minus 20 to get 10. So in this box, you can either do 30 divided by three to get 10, or you do 30 minus 20 to get 10. So that box could be divided by three or minus 20. Question number nine. Here is a list of numbers, six, four, eight, nine, four, three. Work out the median. To work out the median, you list the numbers in order from smallest to biggest. So it's three, four, four, six, eight, nine. And we notice that there's no number in the middle. So the two numbers in the middle is four and six. So to find the median, you add them four plus six and divide by two. And that gives you five. So the median is five. Aisha picks at random one of the numbers. What is the probability that she picks an odd number? So looking at those list of numbers, there are two odd numbers, nine and three. So how many odd numbers are there? The probability of an odd number, there's two of them, nine and three. So we have two odd numbers and then six numbers all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's two odd numbers divided by six. And you can simplify this to be one over three. If you divide by two, divide by two. Half of two is one and then half of six is three. Or you leave it as two over six. Clara has five cards. There is a number on each card. Two of the numbers are hidden. Three, this card is hidden. Eight, five, and this one is hidden. The mode of the five numbers is three. The mean of the five numbers is five. Work out the two numbers that are hidden. If the mode most common is three, so we can add one more three. So we have three, three, and then there's eight, and then there's a five. We don't know what the last number is, but we know the mean of the five numbers is five. So mean means you add all of them. So you add the numbers three plus three plus eight plus five plus the last number X divided by five is equals to five. Five times five, it gives you 25. So the total is 25. So what number could X be? So it'll be 25 minus three plus three plus eight plus five. So it's 19, 25 minus 19 is six. So that number is three and six. So it's the two cards are three and six. And you will see that if you have three and six, the mode is three, because it opposed two times. And when you add them up and find the mean, the mean is five. So it satisfy those two conditions. So that means your answer is correct. So this is the complete answer for question nine. So for nine A is five, nine B is two over six, and nine C is three and six. Question number 10, here is the charge. Here is the charge at the car park in Spain. In the car park, 
0.024 euros per minute. John parked his car in this car park. John drove into the car park at 10.45. When he drove out of the car park, he had to pay 8 euros, 8 euros 40. At what time did John drive out of the car park? First of all, let's find the length of time the car was in the car park. So 8 euro 40 divided by 0 0.024. It gives us 350 minutes because we are doing euros divided by euros per minute. That gives us 350 minutes. And now we want to add 350 minutes to the starting time. They started at 10.45. So we want to add 350 minutes to the starting time. And we can break the 350 minutes into 60 minutes, 60, 60, 60, 60, and 50. When we add that to the starting time, that takes us up to 4.35 p.m. or 16.35. So John drove out of the car park at 4.35 or 16.35.